Hi family, welcome, welcome, welcome to our Bible study session. Welcome to Faith Ministry. My name is Bonorom Bofu and if this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you are part of my family, thank you so much for always consistently watching. So today we're doing Romans. Let us begin. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you that you give hope. I thank you that we are royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that we should always show forth we should always, always show forth the praises of you who called us out of darkness into your marvelous light. And let our light so shine, O oh God, that when people see our light, that they glorify you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Romans 6. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Certainly not. How shall we who died to sin live any longer in it? Or do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him that the body of sin might be done away with that we should no longer be slaves of sin for we who has died has been freed from sin now if we died with christ we believe that we shall also live with him knowing that christ having been raised from the dead dies no more death no longer has dominion over him for the death that he died he died to sin once for all but the life that he lives he lives to god likewise you also reckon yourself to be dead indeed to sin but alive to god in christ jesus our lord therefore do not let sin reign in your mortal body that you should obey it in its last and do not present your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin, but present yourselves to God as being alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. Amen. So um, today I just wanted to go through the scripture of Romans 6 and just get to understand what the mind of God is concerning Romans 6. Romans 6 speaks about us being dead to sin. Now, what is sin? I believe that sin came because of the commandments that were given, the law that was set, that do not kill, do not steal. Therefore, our desires, our fleshly desires lust after doing the things which God has told us what to do. If we take um, a look at what happened in the Garden of Eden, you find that because um, the snake said to Eve, did God really say you should not eat from that tree? Um, and God did not tell the truth. There's something about the law when it's put in place that people always kind of the flesh wants to overpower and take over you and make you do things that are outside of what the law says. If the law says do not sit, you find yourself that you are more prone to want to sit down. So now the Bible says in Romans 6 that we are dead to sin because now Christ died for us and we died with him. So when you have died to something, when you have overcame something and also resurrected with um, and also resurrected, you find that you have conquered the thing which you feared the most. I don't know with you, but with me, it happens so that every time I overcome something that I never thought that I will overcome, I find myself not fearing that thing anymore. Even if it comes the second, the third, or the fourth time, I know by experience that I have overcome this thing. So Romans 6, to me, Romans 6 verse 1 until 15, until 14, um, just kind of makes me gives me an idea that now I live in God and God does not have many laws. I live in Christ and the Christ, the resurrection of Christ does not have many laws, only one law and that law is love, to love my neighbor as myself and to love my God. And in that, because I have died to sin and I have overcame, 
I have now overcome sin. That means I cannot fear dying anymore because sin leads to death, as the Bible puts it. Let's continue. What then shall we shall we sin because we are not under law but under grace? Certainly not. Do you not know that to whom you present yourself slaves to obey, you are that one slaves whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness? But God be thanked that though you were slaves of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine to which you were delivered. And having been set free from sin, you became slaves of righteousness. I speak in human terms because of the weakness of your flesh. For just as you presented your members as slaves of uncleanness and of lawlessness leading to more lawlessness, so now present your members as slaves of righteousness for holiness. For when you were slaves of sin, you were freed in regard to righteousness. What fruit did you have then in the things of which you are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now having been set free from sin and having become slaves of God, you have your fruit to holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. So the conclusion of the scripture, I get that. God is now telling us that just because we're under grace does not mean we should now continue sinning because in the beginning scriptures from verse 1 till 14 it says we are now dead to sin and we have resurrected with Christ therefore we have over come sin therefore we live not from our bodies we are not controlled by our flesh so the lord is now saying to us that we should not depend on our flesh but we should live spiritually to descend the spiritual things knowing that we see the physical because we first saw the invisible which is the spiritual things so i hope you are blessed by romans 6 because i am very blessed by it to know that i'm now dead to sin it doesn't matter um, what I did and especially because Romans 6 says if you have accepted the, doc- the doctrine of salvation the doctrine that Christ died for me Christ my savior Christ is my savior so with all of that I hope that you are blessed I hope that you realize that you are no longer controlled by your body and your flesh but you are controlled by your spiritual man whom has died with Christ and has resurrected with Christ and now is triumphant because um, you live with Christ. So Romans 6 for me, um, it was just addressing the issue of being dead to sin and understanding that um, as we continue in scriptures, there'll be a scripture that tells us still in Romans that there is therefore no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. So we will fall here and there, but we repent nonetheless to say, Lord, I am dead to sin and alive in God, alive in Christ. Therefore, I have overcome sin. I've overpowered sin. I cannot live in sin anymore because the Bible says, that thing that you follow is what you obey if you follow your flesh then you are slave to your flesh but if you follow christ you are slave to christ and christ leads to righteousness which leads to eternal life so i hope you are blessed by romans 6 as we continue with romans 7 next time um be blessed may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen